Hey, this is Teen Days, also known as James and Isaac, and I'm going to tell you about a tour horror story. So it was uh, 2011. I had been playing shows for about a year, um, had done a little bit of touring, and I got an offer to go play at CMJ, which was a festival in New York City, where it takes place across a whole bunch of venues in the city. And the move, a little bit like South by Southwest, is that you just played as many sets as you could. Uh, and usually what that meant is that the, your time, your set times were always kind of all over the place. Some nights you'd be playing day shows, you'd be playing at noon or one. In my case, you were playing late very often. So my first night, uh, I found myself playing in a venue where I was playing at 3 a.m. Now, 3 a.m. is pretty late for me in general. I'm kind of an early to bed uh, kind of guy. But, you know, I thought, New York City, it's going to be like a big party. It's going to be going off. Uh, 3 a.m. is going to be perfect. Uh, of course, it was not. Everyone went home and went to bed like sane people. Uh, I'm up there playing my set. There's probably three or four people in the crowd. Uh, I would assume that they were all pretty drunk by the way that they were uh, carrying themselves. Also, it's 3 a.m. And I was just sort of uh, begrudgingly playing my set, going through, all right, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, the first interaction I had with one of those three crowd members is when someone jumped on stage, grabbed the mic, and started rapping over my music. Uh, not rapping very well, I would also like to say. I kind of looked at him and just went like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play through this. He puts the mic away, jumps off the stage. Apparently that was a message to the rest of the people uh, that were there that they also should join the show. Uh, someone jumped on stage, sort of came up to me and was like, don't worry, I know the owner. And I was like, okay. He grabbed a drum a drumstick and started playing a floor tom during my set. Uh, also not the most syncopated, well choreographed drum part, uh, but at that point I was uh, completely exhausted, had no patience left and just sort of said like, well, what, what can we do? Uh, I wrapped up my set, packed up my gear in the bag, walked straight into a cab, went to bed and thought to myself, I don't know if I ever want to play music live again. Uh, but alas, here we are some eight or nine years later. And uh, yeah, I've, I've managed to have much better shows since then. But that one sort of takes the cake for the most weird, like would have never predicted at the start of the night that uh, I would be playing at 3 a.m. and have a guy rap during my set and someone jump up and play the floor tom. So it's only gotten better since then. We'll just say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm.